If laughter is the best medicine, prepare to OD, you sick, twisted freak. And now... The history of illegal immigration! In a couple of minutes. Illegal immigration is as old as... Well, immigration itself. In 1890, a headline in the LA Times proclaimed more illegal immigration. So how have we got 116 years without any progress? To understand, we've got to go back. Way back. All the way to the war you've probably never even heard of. In 1846, the U.S. formally declared war on Mexico under the leadership of a very underrated president, President Polk. It seemed that Mexico was hoping to take Texas back and Polk wasn't having it. Texas is mine! Texas is mine! Texas is yours! yours. Come on! California's yours! yours. You can keep it! Two years and almost 14,000 American lives later, a treaty was signed and the U.S. paid $15 million for the land that's now modern-day California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, along with parts of Colorado, Nevada, and Utah. Offer not available in Hawaii. With inflation, that's $297 million. Still, that's less than the value of the Colorado Rockies baseball franchise, but not a bad deal, huh? 1924. With no quotas and barely any border security in place, 89,000 Mexicans come to the U.S. on permanent visas. By 1950, the L.A. Times was declaring thousands of Mexicans illegally cross the U.S. border each Month. Sound a little familiar? A few years later. Warning. Historically accurate but politically incorrect phrase about to be uttered. Operation Wetback. Wow. Imagine using that name now. Gee, that sounds a little politically incorrect. Operation Wetback was started by the government to round up illegal aliens. Over a million were deported in over a year, but in doing so, agents profiled anyone who looked like a Mexican. Understandably, Mexican Americans weren't so happy and the program was canceled. Good news for kids everywhere, the Muppet Ernie was eventually returned. Things were pretty quiet for a while. Until 1976, when we began an era of caring about immigration only in years ending in a six. six. That year, Jimmy Carter wanted to give legitimate status, a nicer term for amnesty, to millions of, get ready, you've heard this before, undocumented workers. Americans just won't pick peanuts anymore. The idea never got enough support to pass. But then, ten years later, President Ronald Reagan had plenty of support. He signed an act into law in 1986 that gave amnesty to about 2.7 million illegal aliens. But Reagan thought he was doing the right thing because in exchange for the freebie he demanded huge fines up to a million dollars against the magnet that was drawing people here the companies hiring illegal aliens <laughs> right i think we all know how that idea turned out 10 years after that 1996 clinton came along and decided that it was time to finally get serious about the border he bolstered the border patrol installed sensors, and even built a fence. Unfortunately, it was only 40 miles long. I just don't think anybody would drive 40 miles. And that's pretty much where we stand today. In 2006, yet another 10 years later, as immigration once again becomes a big story in a year that ends in a six. six. But don't worry. In 10 years, we'll bring you part two of this series, and we'll update you on how what we did in 2006 didn't work either. You've just heard the history of illegal immigration in a couple of minutes with Glenn Beck. <laughs>